Everything we've tried, chemo, surgery, comes at a terrible cost. So it occurred to me, what if instead of attacking the cancer directly, I could turn it against itself? This was three years ago now, and you have no idea how difficult technically, but I just finished running a set of experiments, and <laughs> remember, everything I've done so far is just in a petri dish, nothing on actual mice, let alone, and again, this is only one set of experiments, so it's completely premature. But I think I may have figured out how to cure cancer. How am I doing on time? Hello? Yes? Go on, you were saying? I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> I see you're at Illinois. A lot of bright people there, I'm sure. Then there's New York. We're six months away from the best immunology department in the world. That's why they call it New York. We're going for brilliant here. I can't be bothered with bright. Hello? Hi. Your R cell doesn't just tell itself no. It goes after any cancer cells around it and wipes them out by telling them no. This is new. How long before the tumor started to shrink? 14 hours down from 20. 14, 20, what else? I injected the mice nine days ago. Well, eight. How long before they began to relapse? They haven't. Let me understand. You haven't had a single tumor start to grow back? They're still shrinking, in fact. For eight days? Two more minutes, it could be nine. You do know it's still much too soon to be sure. I know. Jesus, William, what the hell's wrong with you? You don't think at some point it might have been nice to mention this? I figured you'd say it was much too soon to be sure. Well, it is. So don't start getting excited. It's premature. <laughs> You're 21, Alice. You'll read plenty of other papers. Too late. Yours got inside my brain and rearranged the circuits. Forget trying to kill tumors. You've created a cell that gets them to fall on their swords and die. You've got cells talking other cells into taking a moral position. The whole idea is completely insane and exactly right. Other people might be older and have more experience, but they won't get it like me. You want to see one of my favorite toys? It's the highest resolution cell counter made. The only place you'll find them are Oxford, Caltech, and here. How much did it cost? Precisely. A lot. This is what a level 4 mouse carcinoma looks like on it. Every cell gets a fluorescent tag. Blue for normal, yellow for tumor, and this is two days after injecting the mouse. Green for R cells. Far out. And then at eight days... You need to get days, back to work. Call if you have any questions. Don't you wish June wasn't so far away? I'll see you then. Yes? I'm just... I feel like someone said, here's a dollar. Go buy a perfect day. I've had an office for 33 years since the day I got here from Hopkins. It's in the order of things, Saul. I'm sorry. I've been here through four different directors. At some point, every one of them needed my support. When that day comes for you... You wanted to meet, so we're meeting. I could have just sent you a memo. Our cells come and go. I'll be here to watch the sun burn out. Yeah, no. October 10th, initial attempts to disable the BC-12 have proven unsuccessful as it appears to have deeply embedded itself in the renegade r -cells code. It is becoming harder to ignore the real possibility that... Interesting. Now can we focus? It's just unfortunate, William. Not everyone is this precise. I've been on site visits, most of the entries, there wasn't even a date. Just so I don't get the wrong impression again, you're not asking me to change the dates. All I meant... Jesus, William, we were this close! <laughs>